welcome to my channel. My name is Aralia. I'm so excited to have you here today. Today's video is going to be a haul or what is new in my closet. If you are new to my channel, the content that I provide here is all around style and fashion for the plus size mature woman. I am a firm believer that life is way too short to live without style. I post one to two times a week. So if you enjoy my content, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss anything here on my channel. If you are a returning friend, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you again. Before I dive into the haul, I wanted to touch on something that I am hoping that you guys will participate in. I have created a survey and it is a very short five question survey. The reason for the survey is because I want to better understand what your goals are, where you're coming from, what your style struggles are, and you know, just get to know you a little bit better. I will have the survey linked in the description bar down below. Of all of the survey respondents that I get, I will be selecting five people that I would like to reach out to so that we can set up a quick 30 minute style audit. And what that is essentially is I just want to talk with you a little bit about your responses to understand a little bit better where you're coming from as far as your personal style is concerned. This is actually a huge favor that you would be doing for me if you filled out the survey. And then if I reach out to you, of course, we can chat and um, I can understand your responses a little bit better and I can better serve you. I would really, really, really appreciate it if you guys did this little favor for me. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into today's haul. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about are these pair of pants that I got from Cabby. They are called the Maestro Pant and they come in a size 20. If you shop Cabby, then you'll be glad to know that they have extended their sizing up to a 20 in some items and these pants were one of them. They are made from Ponty Knit. They have a really cool waffle textured fabric. They have this really awesome slit on the pant leg that you can't really see, but it's there. I love it. Then they have these buttons on the side. They, it is a fully functioning pocket, but I do like these buttons. I'm going to keep them closed because I like the style detail and they point in toward the waist. So if you tuck your shirt in, you will have a really nice illusion of a smaller waistline. Then they also come in a very high rise and I love that because it kind of helps to lock and load things. I feel nice and secured, but it's not, they're not uncomfortable because they are made of Ponty knit. They are probably some of the most comfortable pants I have bought in a long time. I did not want to take them off. They are actually an ankle length, but uh, because I'm petite, they fit me just perfectly. The next thing I have is this sweater from Cabby. It's called the Harvest Pullover. I love that bright orange color. It is so incredibly soft. It has a lot of really cool details on it that caught my eye when I was looking at it. First of all, it is a crew neck and it's got these really interesting textures in the knit. We have got a really nice hemline. It hits me right at the hip break and I like how it fits. It's very, very soft. But going back to the textures, it's got like this really cool honeycomb texture, a waffle weave texture, a stripe texture. It is just really visually appealing and it harkens back to the hexagon that I'm so in love with these days. It matches up with my earrings really well as far as that goes. It has a really interesting puff sleeve and I like the, the shoulder detail as well because the stitching goes in. It's not a drop shoulder. It actually comes in almost like a jersey, like a baseball jersey. Absolutely love the color. It occurs to me in the playback that I kind of look like a Cheeto, but I don't care. I like Cheetos. Cheetos deserve their day. And uh, yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful sweater that I am going to enjoy wearing throughout the winter season. And then we have this fabulous forest green striped t-shirt that I got from Target. I love this t-shirt, even though it is a little bit snug and it does run small by the way, because this is an extra, extra large and it fits me a little tight. So just be aware of that. But I really, really like the striping on this shirt. I think that it is so pretty and the color is stunning. 
This is a color that I've kind of been after for my winter wardrobe. And when I saw this t-shirt, when I was at Target, I was like, I must have it. Now this is gonna be an underlayer because it is a little bit snug. I don't know that I'll wear it on its own, but I do like how it looks. The color is amazing. I can't stop talking about that color. I love that forest green. It is so on trend and it looks really good with my gold necklace. Next we have this blazer from Who What Wear in a really cool houndstooth. Now this particular blazer I'm not sure that I'm going to keep. I love the print. I think the print is beautiful. I like the fact that the sleeves fit. I like the fact that um, I can fold them up comfortably and all of that but it fits me way too big. And I'm not sure about the peplum or that, you know, cinched st stitching that it has. I've got so much room in here and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to a tailor to have it tailored. I thought maybe adding an extra button would help it. But honestly, I'm just not liking how it looks on my body. Let me know what you think. Should I keep it? Should I return it? I, right now I'm leaning toward returning it just because I, I've tried belting it and it just didn't look right. And if I'm struggling with a piece of clothing that much, then I'm not gonna be able to wear it in a lot of different ways. And so I'm gonna have to let it go, but oh, I'm so upset because I really, really love that hound's tooth check that it has because I love the colorway. But yeah, I think it's gonna end up going back. And the next thing I have from Target is this cute little fedora that I found. I think it's an exhilaration. I love that little suede bow detail. That's what pulled me in other than the color. It's got a really pretty beigey kind of blush color to it. It is made of chenille. It is an adjustable hat. So on the inside, you can make adjustments to the band so it will fit you properly. And I think that this is going to be one of my most favorite accessories for the winter. I found my winter 2020 hat, so can't wait to start styling it and wearing it. The next thing I have from Target are these pair of boots and sadly they did not fit me, so I will not be keeping them. They do have a wide calf. They are a 17 inch shaft, I think, but they didn't fit around my ankles. They fit around my calves, just not my ankles. Maybe my ankles were puffy that day, I don't know. But if you happen to have thinner ankles, but you need a wide calf boot, you might want to give these a try. I think that they're beautiful. They've got this really cool rubber stacked heel. I know that would be really, really comfortable uh, wearing and I, they're going to look fantastic with anything you pair them with. They do have a side zip, which makes putting them on a little bit easier. And they also have them in brown. So if they had fit, I probably would have gotten the brown pair too. But anyway, I will have those linked in the description bar for you down below. So the next thing I have is from Nordstrom. I actually got this from the anniversary sale and it is this fabulous little sweater dress from Chelsea 28. Before we say anything, yes, I know I will need to wear a shaper with this because I need something to smooth things out underneath it. I love this little sweater dress. I think it is fantastic. It is very, very comfortable. I like the neckline. It's soft and warm. So even though it's sleeveless, it's a definite layering piece and it's gonna be a go-to for me this winter. I don't mind the length. I love that it has a slit on the side. I think that this is a great casual to work to date night type of sweater dress. Cannot wait to start wearing it. And then for a couple of random items, uh, starting with this pumpkin that I got from Target. It is a cable knit sweater pumpkin with orange piping. These cable knit sweater pumpkins are like super cute. They're trending really, really heavily. I picked this up for $10. I love it. I'm going to be able to have this out through Thanksgiving. Who doesn't love an amazing pumpkin to have to decorate? I, I think it's so pretty. It's so cute. The sweater is just, mm, I love it. Then we have these hangers that I got from Amazon and the biggest reason I got them is because I loved the rose gold hardware. I needed a new batch of hangers and velvet hangers are amazing and they're the best hangers I think because they're very slim profile so they save a lot of room in your closet. They don't damage your shirts and they look really good and I've got them in this blush pink although they have them in all kinds of colors. 
I will have another video for you linked right here should you want to continue watching. Thank you as always for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I truly, truly appreciate it. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.